All right, we gotta have some fun with it. Why not? It's Saturday, so the memes are alive and well. My favorite thing on this subreddit is to come in here on Saturdays and <laughs> also on this subreddit today, and I'm sure as I scroll down, I'll see uh, the one with Warrior and his conversation uh, with uh, one of the developers. And so you'll get a chance to hear my thoughts on that. Who preloaded turn meter this time? Someone loaded turn meter again. This is GA, not TW. I don't care. <laughs> Stop loading turn meter. Oh, uh, this is not a good meme if you have to explain it though. But <laughs> can you imagine complaining to your guild about <laughs> turn meter gain? They're like, dude, it's your grand arena and it's your own fault. Ah, okay, I get it. All right. Oh, uh, wow. Capital Games, every YouTuber, get along shirt. Ah, boy. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit this about a little bit more in the video, but um, you know, I'm not sure if things are gonna get better. Uh, I really hope they do. Uh, not necessarily for me, but uh, I just want them to get along with the community better. Uh, that's what I want. Uh, sir, you've been in a coma for a week now. Oh boy, I can't wait to hear from CG Carry about the Road Ahead blog. Nope. Well, we're gonna get it from a Top Hat or Nick. Um, I kind of hope he becomes uh, the lead producer, and I'm not sure what's going on over there, but I'm wondering, uh, based off of like uh, the stock reports I've been reading, because as you know, uh, before I did YouTube, I was a stockbroker, and so I sometimes go and read up on, you know, the earnings forecasts and things like that, but uh, from what I could see on the EA's balance sheet and from their earnings report is that uh, mobile is on the decline. They've been losing year over year across all mobile titles, and Galaxy of Heroes was their flagship, and their comment was the Command & Conquer uh, mobile title did not fill that gap. Like that game did not pick it up. So I wonder if they're just pulling the plug corporate on the game in general for like marketing and things like that. And they're just gonna, as Seton would say, milk the whales and just kind of extract as much revenue out of it. I don't know. Just speculating, just my thoughts. Let's talk about memes, exciting news. Uh, it can be played with an alternate controller to make spending money on surprise mechanics. Uh, even easier, surprise mechanics. You know what I don't like and I'm pissed off right now is I just spent about $20 to take my uh, General Grievous up to gear 13. And you know, that's a good value, but gear 13 came out and my entire roster was uh, deflated and devalued, and I have to spend money to keep, I don't wanna use the word investment because that's the wrong word. There's no investment in this game whatsoever, but just to keep, uh, you know, the characters that I already spent money on, you know, my my Revens and things like that, for them to stay the same and have the same impact, the same power, I have to spend money to keep up with the game. That's kind of fresh, but this is a meme video. CG, can you please double the mob storage capacity? I'm good with that, man. I've got every mod and every character. I don't have a lot of extras. Now that the uh, Grand Arena Championship is not tied to Galactic Power as much, uh, load up your mods and all your characters, and I, I don't have a problem with that. Bring me Malik. Yeah, where is Malik? Oh my goodness, I'm so ready for Malik. Vader rework? We will see. This is the rework we want and we need. <laughs> Kit Fisto. I don't know, man. Isn't that kind of creepy looking there? Kind of reminds me of like Squidward when he got all beautiful and SpongeBob. I, I don't know, man, that's kind of strange. Wait until your opponent attacks in GA to see how many points you need to clear. I'm taking him now. No, Anakin, no. I typically wait to see how it goes because I like to stream it. That's something I'm gonna be do is I'm gonna stream these Grand Arena Championships whether I win or lose. And I'm gonna try to coordinate it with Arnold so that I'm before or after, not at the same time. I really been enjoying it even if I lose. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. People in this suburb, when they complain about Grand Arena Championship matchmaking for 10 seconds, oh my God. Um, I gotta tell you what my experience is, is on Grand Arena Championship matchmaking, is I am being matched up against drastically superior rosters, where they have many, many extra teams of Gear 12 and Gear 13 characters. However, I'm noticing that my mods are better. 
And you know what? It's fine. I feel like it's an uphill battle. Now, the problem I have with that a little bit is I know that I could spend thousands of dollars and upgrade all my teams, you know, take a handful of teams to 13, take, you know, most of my teams up to gear 12, you know, because right now I need about 16 teams and I would be very competitive. I'm just not willing to do that, but my mods are competitive. And oh boy, we're going to talk about this. Piers Warrior has been booted from the not Game Changer program by CG Eric. And that's CG Eric. And um, this was a screenshot uh, that Warrior took of a private message between one of the developers and himself. And I got to give Warrior props for always standing up for himself. And he said, what privileges do you think kicked me out of the chat room because I ranted was a good idea? He dropped an F-bomb. I received zero benefit from you guys for a very long time, but making me an enemy all because I'm frustrated and ranted on a private board instead of making public video like others YouTubers is the wrong move. Publicly, I've always been PG. It's true. Uh, Warrior, you know, I spent some time at his house. Dude, Warrior's a stand-up guy. His family, everything, he was, like, so hospitable. Um, like, I want to move to the town that Warrior lives. I love that town. I love my experience there with him. I, I can only say good things about Will and Warrior and his family and his life and his lifestyle. He's just a stand-up guy all around. Integrity across the board. And what he was frustrated with, and I know exactly what it is, is that Warrior is in the top, 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 top. And he has all of his team's done correctly and modded and he is playing against the same people over and over again and they have better mods we're talking about teams with full 20 plus speed stats all the way down and he just does the mods is why he's losing and you can't even throw enough money at mods because mods is rng and he was just like, I, I don't know why I play this game. I don't know what's going on. And I'm summarizing. I don't remember what it was exactly. But it was a legitimate complaint because he was getting paired up against the same 20 guys that had better mods. And he was just getting beat up constantly. And you got to realize that Warrior is at the top. Whaley of whales, you know, uh, you know, Kraken, if you will. And it's just become an unfun experience for him. And this is what I was saying. As I was hoping that uh, with the departure of Kerry, there was going to be this move uh, corporately where they uh, don't resent the community and don't resent uh, the community leaders like Warrior. And I, I don't know if, uh, if Kerry had spearheaded that contempt and resentment towards the community and uh, the community leaders. And I was hoping with her departure that would change, but I'm not sure. And I'm not sure if it's a, a legitimate resentment or contempt towards the community. It could just be that they're underfunded from EA. And uh, EA sees a negative growth model and it's just, you know, they're just like, why well, you know, we're not gonna throw good money at bad. Uh, we'd rather develop a new game rather than investing in an existing game. I'm not sure. It's just my take on the situation anyways. But I was hoping, uh, frankly, with Carrie's departure that uh, there would be some sort of different leadership that uh, acknowledges that this is a four-year-old uh, mobile title that has uh, tied to a franchise that seems better days and uh, the arrogance is stripped from them and they're just rather be like, yeah, this is a community. Let's work together rather than I'm better than you guys, even though this is a four year old mobile game tied to a, a franchise. It's, I just, uh, the arrogance that I've seen at times from the development staff is just, uh, you know what I mean? It just makes me giggle. It's like, dude, no wonder we don't like you. <laughs> right? All right. Uh, let's keep going. And I think there was, they basically, uh, Eric and Warrior made up and everything is fine and i gotta tell you eric is one of my favorite people in this game uh mostly because he's an effective communicator uh every uh interaction i've had with eric whether it's in person or on the phone or in a private message has been extremely professional and he has a point of view and a thought that is conveyed fairly and even when i disagreed with him i always said hey dude you you have strong leadership you have a strong point of view i disagree with you but i actually understand why i disagree with you like you have a different viewpoint and i'm okay with that and i disagree with you 
you know, because he had like a very strong point of view on uh, Marvel Strike Force and me, me making videos about Marvel Strike Force. However, I was like, I was like, I kind of get where you're coming from. Like, I don't disagree. I, I, I don't disagree why you feel that way, but I completely disagree. Good guy. Uh, he would be another person, you know, if he uh, uh, took up the reins and replaced Carrie, him or Top Hat, you know, that would be great. Why not? Let's do it. These guys are awesome. Let's see if there's any more memes. It's over, and again, I have the high ground. Yeah, look at that. General Kenobi's got gear 12 with the wallet. But you're understanding my borrow power. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I hate you, Hank of Fact. Oh, I, uh, low key right here. I hope nobody is uh, going into debt over this game. I would like to believe that every whale and crack in this game has a high degree of disposable income and they're doing this as a hobby. And for me, um, I don't know how much money I've spent on this game. I'm going to say it's probably between uh, $3,400 and $3,800 right now, somewhere in there. And I've played the game for three and a half years, almost four years. And you know, that's a pretty good value considering, you know, I make YouTube videos and, but just from a value point of view, uh, you know, how much does Starbucks cost? You know, I, I think I've spent more on Starbucks in that time frame than this game, uh, which is still a lot of money, but I, I really have gotten a lot of value out of this game. Now, uh, I really, what I'm saying about this is I hope that people are not buying, uh, you know, going without impacting their families, anything like that. Uh, to uh, buy gear 13. <laughs> I hope not. Okay, let's see what we got here. Any more memes? The memes are kind of light this week. So uh, I just wanted to say I'm going to uh, be doing streams for Grand Arena Championships like tomorrow is Sunday morning. Uh, I might start doing it on a fixed schedule. And I, like I said, I kind of want to coordinate that with Arnold. I don't want to run them at the same time, maybe before or after. Uh, mine usually are under an hour, and I think his are a little bit longer, and that's fine. He's a little more uh, dynamic, and he goes berserk, and I actually quite enjoy watching his streams. But be on the lookout for my Grand Arena stream for tomorrow morning. I haven't looked at my matchup, but they're usually there are good ones, even if I lose. And I'm actually at a point where I don't care if I lose, which is kind of fun way to play them uh, because uh, I don't have unlimited resources. I can't have every character at gear 13. It's just the way it is. All right, guys, now it's time for the giveaway. I really hope you like this video today because if you did, you are in luck because for every single person that likes this video, you will be getting for free in your account, a Gear 14 eight-star Battle C-3PO. This is not a scam. What is that about? I can't wait to see what that's about. I'm actually pretty hyped about episode nine. Are you hyped about episode nine? All right, guys, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.